Brother Eddie Coleman with the Torrey Native Apostolic Church. Welcome to our morning devotion. Today we're going to be looking outward. We're going to talk about looking outward. Not just to tomorrow or next week or even next month. But I'm talking about outward beyond this life. Beyond the grave. You know, the real future where time is for eternity. It never, never, ever ends. Luke 21, 25 through 27. It says in verse 25, And there shall be signs in the sun and in the moon and in the stars. And upon the earth the stress of nations with perplexity. The sea and the waves roaring. Man's hearts failing them for fear and for looking after those things which are coming on the earth. For the powers of heaven shall be shaken. And then shall they see the Son of Man coming in a cloud with power and great glory. Today there are so many people that cannot see past their nose because they're too wrapped up in themselves and all that they want to do, where they want to go. We are told in the Word of God to always be ready. So looking outward as we will soon be leaving 2023, but just a few months away, you know, going into 2024, we should have a positive outlook knowing that we are so much closer to the coming of the Lord than we've ever been before. Prophecies written over 2,000 years ago coming to pass in our day and time of so many things that's happening all over the world more so than ever before. And going forward, we have many things according to God's word that we have to look at. The Holy Word of God, the Bible, pointing to what we call the rapture of the church, is soon coming. The signs in the sky, upon the earth, and in the weather, in the nations, the things that's going on, nation against nation, sickness, epidemics, death, and time seems to be moving Quicker and quicker than it's ever done. You know the Bible says that. In the last days that. Unless he shortened the days. I believe they're shorter. As we are taking in all these things. Each and every day. With more things coming at us. Things that we've not heard of before. It's no wonder that the hearts of men are failing. Soon and very soon, Jesus Christ is coming back. Romans 13 and 11 says, And that knowing the time, that now it is high time to awake out of sleep. For now is our salvation nearer than when we believed. You know, to look ahead and to plan is very important. Some people just live for the moment. Knowing the time, the signs around us, it's high time, it's now time, that's what the Word of God is saying, to awake out of that sleepness and shake ourselves. You know, we got to get prepared. Why? Because we are closer than what we even believe. I don't know what you think, but... I believe time's running out for mankind. Our salvation, we are about to be delivered. And I'm so thankful. Are you ready to be delivered? Second Peter 3.13 Nevertheless, we, according to his promise, look for a new heavens and a new earth, wherein dwelleth righteousness. I tell you what, it's going to be a wonderful place. What we do now will make the difference where we spend eternity. 
Have you been looking forward? I'm speaking about our soul. Let us pray. Lord, we thank you for an opportunity to know you. Help us, Lord, to realize the, the time that we are living in. We know that things are getting worse and worse. And it's all written there in your word. The signs of the times. And Lord, we just want to be ready to meet you. We want to be prepared. And today we want to give you all the praise and the glory for the opportunity that you've given us. We thank you, Lord. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Well, we hope and trust that you'll have a wonderful day in Jesus Christ.